Hey everybody, I have got a really unique typewriter for you today. This is, this big guy is a Royal HH 1954 and yes, we painted it. It was, Rob found this doing some typewriter picking locally and it was in really rough shape and so he thought about painting it and he thought this was blue but it was actually pur purple and he had already painted this blue. So you have a purple and blue typewriter, which can be really fun. And um, so this is just gonna be, and actually this typewriter came not only in the gray and the, and the kind of the brownish, but it came in blue, green, and pink. And I have not seen those colors anywhere. So if you do come across them, grab them when, if that's the original color because they are really hard to find, but this one, lots of fun to look at. Um, we're gonna kinda explore it together. It's probably been a year and a half since I've touched a Royal like this, so um, give me a little grace during this demo, but here you go. If you're looking for something um, just to have for fun, you're like super whimsical and creative and love color, and you're crafty and maybe you do art journaling, this is gonna be a really fun typewriter for you. And while we include shipping in all of our prices, just know that the majority of the price of this typewriter is gonna be the shipping. Um, this one has to be packaged in a special way and it's just very heavy. So, okay, let's take a look at it. Um, First of all, this has met, this is a wider margin. I have a um, carriage. I didn't measure it. This looks bigger than a 12 inch, but obviously this is gonna be good for those of you who are crafty because you have a huge option in terms of paper sizes that you wanna use. Let's say you are an art journal or, or other thing and you wanna, you find something that's already existing and you wanna type over it and you can load it in here and type on it. Okay, magic margin. So this is where the margin is set right now. I can't go any further. You just press that magic margin. Oh, I guess bring it forward. And um, while releasing the carriage, and then you can release both, and then the margin is now set, okay? So there you go. So to release the carriage is this metal lever right here. On this side, it's gonna be this one, okay? So same thing over here. Well, the margin set way over. I'm gonna bring it in and set it there. You just pull it forward and you heard it click. So now that's set there. And so actually I'm gonna bring them in more for our demo. Okay, there we go. Huge carriage. Okay, this is gonna be your paper guide. Um, if you wanna use that, you don't have to. This, what is this? Ah, that releases your roller. So if you hear it clicks, clicks every half of a line, but when you release it, then it frees it up and you can line things up better if you need to. Um, and then on this side, this lever releases the tension on the paper and I'll show you that later. So if you need to uh, adjust your paper settings, let's open up the top. There we go. And inside, you're gonna see the ribbon. So we have put brand new ribbon in this typewriter for you. And as you can see, it does not take a spool. And I'll tip that if you wanna look a little bit. Does not take a normal spool. And so what it is, is there's this little plastic piece And that plastic piece is real small, kind of right in there, and you and a ribbon needs to be wrapped around that. So once you use up the ribbon, if you want to send us those plastic pieces, we'll wrap um, fresh ribbon on it. And uh, if you need more questions, or you have, um, or if you have more questions, please feel free to message us now. When you get to the end of the roll, and we've put a lot of ribbon on there. And so it's gonna last you a long time because when you get to the end of 
your ribbon, you reverse the direction right there, okay? Just press and it reverses the direction and then you just go back and forth until you've used up all the ink in your ribbon and that it takes a long time to use up all the ink. Now the touch control is right here on the right side and that just determines how hard these bars are gonna strike your paper. So you can set it to whatever uh, you want. Sorry, this is the ribbon reversal. Um, I am not sure what that one is. The ribbon reversal is here. All right, and then also when it's time to reload your ribbon, we have an up close photo of this that shows you how it needs to be threaded through. And sometimes, um, there we go. Um, you can pop those down while you're threading it just so they're out of the way and then put them back up. Okay, or whatever you want to use that for. I don't know. Okay, tabs. How do you set your tabs? Uh, right here is the tab key. Then you clear your tab here and you set it here. Your color selector, selector is on the right side. It's on red right now. There's black. And then if you bring it all the way to the right, you'll see white. And that means stencil and it won't do anything. Um, if it's on stencil, it's not gonna type properly. Uh, so make sure it is firmly on black or red. Okay, let's load some paper and do a typing demo. So I'm gonna bring my paper guide in and load my paper about there. And this is a massive carriage, so I mean, Really, if we wanted to, let's go ahead, we could load it like this, landscape mode. And look, you still have a lot of room. So we're gonna pull this through. I bet this is a 15 inch carriage. It's really, really big. And I like to pull it up to make sure it's even, and it is, but if it wasn't, then that's where you use the paper release here and you can adjust your paper, you know. But make sure your bar is down before you start typing and then make sure the paper release is engaged. So let's go ahead and type. There's no number one. So we use the lowercase L. This is a 1954 Royal HH. And it's actually an E, which means elite. So elite is 12 um, characters per inch. A small, it's a smaller font. Let's go ahead and just test out all the keys. I haven't, I don't know where the tabs are. That's way over there. Let's set it. Let's set it right here. Okay. Um, and sometimes these desktop typewriters are really good um, typers. This is um, a little stiff, and we'll give it another shot um, of the chem a chemical that we use, but you can also use mineral spirits to loosen it up. And the more, because this is so old and it was probably just sitting in a garage uncovered, it's, it is a little stiff, though it's bouncing back just fine, which I like to see. But over time, it's probably gonna loosen up real good for you if you're using it on a regular basis. It's still typing very well. And so I don't want you to think that it's not typing well. You can see how well it's typing. I'm just trying to be really honest with um, how it feels. So this is gonna be good for um, casual writing. I wouldn't write a long book on here or anything like this, but definitely for craft projects, poetry, um, journaling, stuff like that, that's gonna be very suitable for that. Actually, it's typing extremely well. So that stiffness that I feel, I think this is the way it's supposed to be. It's really um, typing quite well. 
and I'm gonna check something. My ribbon looks really tight, so I wonder if I uh, reverse the direction. Oops, left, and it looks like it. So I'm kinda at the end, so I'm gonna, I had reversed the direction the wrong way. So I'm gonna put it back the other way. Okay, let's do red. Okay, margin release. I'm at the end of my margin, margin release. Hit the return handle. I'm gonna check some again. Oh, there we go. There we go. So um, you may have to mess around just to make sure your ribbon is flowing properly. The, I noticed that it wasn't going down, it was just going down and it wasn't turning properly. So um, you just may have to mess with the, there's two levers in there and I'm not entirely sure because I'm not very familiar with this type reader. Um, you may just have to mess with that a little bit to make sure the ribbons are flowing at the same time, their spools are. Okay, so it is, it's starting to look good. Margin release. There we go. So this is an excellent typewriter. Um, yeah, very, very good. And I can see, cause I'm watching, I see there's a, there's a mark on here. So I'm watching it move. So it's now moving just fine. Um, and it's, even though it felt stiff, like I said, it's actually, as I'm typing, um, I think that's the way it's supposed to feel. Um, so just be aware that this is probably not gonna be for kids. It's gonna be a little hard for them to type. But again, for casual writing, um, this is an excellent machine. It felt really good when I was typing, but it does require a heavier hand. So if you go back in some of my videos from this week as well, um, for the week 12 listings, I had a couple typewriters that needed a really light touch. This one needs a heavy touch, so a heavy hand. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. This is kind of a fun new typewriter for us, not anything we've had before with the, definitely the interesting colors. Um, put some yellow with it. If you look at the photos I did with it, it looked great with the yellow accents. So thanks so much for watching. You all have a blessed day.